Welcome back everyone, Kostin here on Serious Gaming, continuing my playthrough of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, part two. So now I have a priority mission to escort a merchant ship, the Walpole, the same one as uh, that I rescued from the Spaniards. I have to escort it to, um, to safety because the enemy fleet here is going to scale with mine. What that does is present me with an opportunity that I can abuse that. So the way the scaling works, it is it doesn't work based on the ships that you bring to battle. So you can't just cheat your way through it like that, but it works based on the ships that you have in your Navy and are active. So by active, I mean not deployed in say a secondary uh, mission like these two, the Hermes and the Ferret are, or um, not even acquired as the San Juan Batista is right now. Now I'm going to add this to the fleet, all right, repair it, put it to 120, and get myself, um, yeah. well, I do, yeah, I, I think I'll go with that, actually. So, uh, bayonet, actually, I should probably go with uh, sword, bayonet, have more than that, nah, I'll just, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go with, the optimal crew size uh, for it with the bayonet. And then we will go... So these are the free stats that do matter over there. Um, Alright, Clement Tire. That will do. Uh, the second officer will... Well, I need a good perception. He will do. Good. It's got uh, six pounder, 26 pounder guns. All right, that will do. And it's got 260 weight right now on it, out to 350. So I can afford more weight. I can afford better guns, bigger guns, that kind of stuff. Um, I can also get upgrades that also cost weight. But I'm not going to do that right now. I do have quite a bit of money, but I will need that money for some other things. So anyway. Let's play. Three ships, two of which are transports, and we'll try and do a boarding action of the enemy ships, uh, one of which is an actual warship. Now, my goal would be ideally to capture all of the en enemy ships. If I can't do that, that's fine. If I can't quite manage that. The recapture merchant is carrying vital supplies, and we are so we are accompanying her to assure that she can rejoin the rest of our fleet. The heavy rain prevented us from detecting the enemy until they were nearly on top of us. The only good news is that they appear to be just as surprised as we are. We are heavily outnumbered and outgunned. Our only chance is to run and hope that we lose them in the storm. So there are three enemy ships and they're going to be as strong as your strongest. All of them. You can get free frigates here. Captain, while we can't afford to engage the enemy directly, we... You must attempt to keep them off the merchant until it can escape them. So those supplies must reach the fleet at any cost. Well, here's the thing. I don't care. Like, I get what the developers were trying to do with this mission. It just doesn't work. Because if there are things to abuse in a game like this, you will abuse them. That's kind of the problem, isn't it? It's like, oh, here's this cool idea. It's like, no, you're not gonna... It's not gonna work, I'm afraid. All right, so break the convoy and speed up. I mean, I don't get why naval bat like this is on fast speed, and the naval battles are just slow, very fucking slow. Okay, let's take a shot there. All right, he's gonna go there. All right, so I'm gonna give the AI control. Now I have, I should have better guns than they do. The crew size, that doesn't necessarily indicate anything, really. And I certainly have better, uh, yeah, better crews. Alright. So. Send the wall pull. Just turn around. 
wasn't actually as good as I would have wanted. Alright, an AI. Right, send it. Uh, have them controlled by the AI. They can still shoot. And they're gonna give as good as they get. Even better, actually. So yes, I'm going to win this battle, or try and win this battle at any rate. Alright, let's battle sails. Disengage over there. Keep moving. I don't care necessarily about repair costs or crew costs, they're not too extreme. Actually, what can the, the most valuable thing I have aren't. I mean, the ships are valuable, don't get me wrong on that. They are uh, absolutely. There we go. Successful boarding action completed. Mm -hmm. Alright, disengage. I might reg live to regret that, actually. But. The thing is, I do gain a lot of speed by doing that. Besides, these crews should be weakened by the fact that... Uh... Alright. I don't quite trust AI fully. Anyway. So, I still have quite a few uh, troops. Now, you can board with more than one ship. I believe. So, let's just get close and make this happen. They are certainly taking a lot of damage, so I might want to just run. But yeah, if I can capture all of these ships, then that would be fan-fucking-tastic, wouldn't it? Alright. Turn it around. Oh, I know. Going against the wind. Ugh. Midshipman is wounded. The rudder has broken. Where's the wall pole? Yeah. Slowly cruising around. No fucking issue in the world. Alright. You're getting out of there, good sir. One of your officers has been wounded. Let's see if we can get this done. Damn it. That's not ideal. But we'll try. Alright. Try, 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 try. There we go. Alright, good.
Could have been better. I could have taken the third ship, but uh, I'll settle for a victory. I was close, but nah, I was just taking damage, trading damage at this rate. I was just going to sink them. Alright, now with all of that sorted out, time to buy the HMS Cornwall. Good. So, it needs crew, a lot of crew. I can eliminate some of the crew from this one, from the San Juan Batista. Uh, dismiss him. Give him command of that and use the reserves to basically make up for the cruise shortages yeah. actually you know what I'm not going to give him command I'll give Nelson command of that but anyway reserve Let's see uh, musket let's go with sword bayonet because it saves me some costs all right and use the reserve so it's basically fairly cheap actually the main expense will probably be the guns on this baby. Yeah, pretty bloody expensive. So, we have 12 pounder Armstrong guns. Hmm, isn't that lovely? All the resigns are serviceable in Navy usage because of their low price, but clumsy and inaccurate. Alright, 12 pounder. Wait, what's the. Okay, hold on. Penetration. So the penetration on this one is a heck of a lot lower. The accuracy is... No, range. What's the accuracy? Hmm. It tells you range, it doesn't tell you accuracy. Anyway, I'm just gonna go with 12 pounder. Yes, that's gonna be expensive, but so what? This is what you get when you uh, are using frigates, a Hermione class. And on this one, I'll put six, um, six pounder Armstrong guns. Seems like the best option. That has cost me quite a bit of weight. So we get stamina, we get morale. Let's go with stamina. Right, the crew from the HMS Ferret will join, uh, will take over from or the San Juan Batista uh, in maybe the San Eugenia. Uh, the other two are going to be, you know, the last one is going to be sent to the Admiralty. Hmm, it will be, it would be 12 points. All right, 
So this one. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to make decisions right now on this. Uh, I will, uh, should I get the acceleration? I guess I should. I think for now I should probably just go for a sale and purchase benefits. I mean, crew training spree, this beneficial, casualty replenishment, that kind of stuff. All beneficial, but just being able to... Well, actually I should probably just get the veterans, because they're probably going to, going to be one of the main costs. But yes, I do want to get the reduction in other things as well. Now the problem is, since I've gone with 12 pounders, which are quite heavy, um, since I've gone with that, I've uh, actually screwed myself in terms of being able to put upgrades on, on the ship. I can increase the capacity of it, but I would pay quite dearly for it in other respects. So, um, actually, yeah, hold on a second. I go in it while maintaining stability. Now, as much as I'd love to, nothing more than to go fucking crazy on that, there are other expenses that I need to keep in mind. I'm going to get the supply wagon right now. Okay. Uh, precision gun tackle, speed gun. Alright.
I say I would spent enough of a fortune. So anyway, victory medal. The medal of victory is awarded to those serving in her Maj in His Majesty's armed service of forces who have distinguished themselves at times of war while under fire by the enemies of the crown. Okay. All right. So we got sixteen thousand. All right. Let me just save. Q free. Pretty much. Yep. Very good. And next stage. Okay. Let's see if it worked. No. No. All right. Well, okay, uh, I'm sorry, Nelson, but someone's much better than you at pretty much every fucking thing. Although, I could put Nelson in charge of the ship and put him in charge of the sh shooting the cannons. How about that idea? Yeah, because you'd get, you'd really go home with that. Yep, so that will do. Alright, this one needs a captain. All right, because I completed all the missions, I get 20% reward modifier, which is pretty bloody useful when you think about it. Anyway, uh, so we have, let's see. The rebels being the American revolutionaries, right? If I'm not mistaken, supplies from Jamaica. Okay, fresh food and cargo of vital military supplies make our men uh, lives a bit easier in this morass. Morale rises. Now, I've checked historically, and what I've learned is that they failed to take the fort of San Juan. Like, the initial, the first mission of the campaign, yeah, the British fucked that up pretty badly. So, we get a mission here called the Second Wave. 
and then we have Santa Cruz. I'm, like, let me just look at the map. So we get three ships, two units, um, or two ships that I can deploy at over there. Okay. Now here, we get two ships. Uh, smoke over the island. I'm going to take the biggest, bl uh, biggest ships that I have in the navy uh, to deal with that. Now I can get the HMS Saint, so that's another Hermione class. Great! <laughs> By all means, game, give me all your bloody ships. I'll, uh, I'll really make use of them. Like, I'm gonna go with frigates. Because in this era, bigger is better. There is no situation where a smaller ship is, is going to be better. Let's put it like that. I, I just can't think of it, really. And wouldn't it be quite lovely to just capture a sizable portion of um, of the Spanish Armada right here? Hmm. Now I can only bring two. Oh wait, 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 wait. That's uh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one that I actually want. Okay, so it's free. All right. So. Uh, Battle of the day. Let's see what they've got. Alright, so an enemy squadron consisting of troop ships and numerous light escorts are heading towards our forces operational area. Smash the Spaniards while they are still at sea to prevent any possible landing process. Okay, so we're gonna take the Cornwall, the Mercedes, and hmm. Right, bring her. I mean, I could bring the Batista if I really wanted, but I want to capture some of these ships, so it's better to just bring troop ships and just you know, use them for that. Not that I'm necessarily going to succeed, but worth, uh, worth trying. The way weather favored us, sir. We have successfully reached the area and mentioned in the Admiral's orders. Straight ahead, Captain Spaniards. Hmm, let's see what we've got. Looks like we have caught them with their pants down. Bet we'll find Spaniard troops on that merchant. We'll make you faster. Okay, so the wind is blowing in that direction. That makes it deeply unfavorable. Let's speed it up. Uh, so faster speed, full sails on my ships. I'm not quite in the wind. Uh, so we got two troops. Uh, transports. We have the Senora. I can't pronounce that. I, I'm sorry. Like the Senora. Whatever. I'll go with that. Um, so let's see. It's got 30 guns. Go ahead. I have 46. By all means. And this one's got 20. Yep. Easy pickings. All right. So I kind of. Honestly, I'll be I'll, I'll be quite frank. I really do despise it uh, in an ultimate civ a general civil war, and in this, I really despise it that they start you off with such a crap navy, non-existent navy, and it, then they throw um, then they throw missions early on where you where you are at a disadvantage. So they force you, okay, let's build a powerful navy, and then they do this. It's like, oh yeah, let's throw something an easy pickings for for the player, and it's like. It just creates a really terrible balance situation, and the difficulty curve is completely fucked up as a result of it. Like, look, I like the gameplay. Like, the actual gameplay is fine. I'm not too sold, honestly, on the naval combat, but that's just my personal perspective. It's, one, it's very slow. Like, I do enjoy a slower pace to combat, but this should not be this... Like, this should be, like, kind of, like, maybe something like this. Like, the fastest speed should be the second fastest speed. Because it... The battles really do drag on. Um, anyway. And it's not... And I'll be honest. I don't know how realistic they are. <laughs> Maybe I should read up on actual battle tactics of the day. Okay. 
Okay. So let's break them apart. Hello there. Think you're gonna get away? Think not. Now, actually, believe it or not, the troop transports are actually gonna be quite v a very fucking valuable for me as a player. Come on. Is there a key to hide the bloody UI? Because I would really like that. Nope. Come on. Thank you. It surrendered. So, the troop transports are useful because uh, I'll be able to... Uh... Come on, come on, fucking... Why aren't you boarding? The hell? That's just the weirdest part there. There we go. Minimal crew, get that out of there. You're going out. You are turning around and bombarding the shit out of those transport ships. Alright, uh... Stop shooting, thank you. Alright, there we go.
Yeah, it sunk. The flooding was a bit too much, wasn't it? Let's try, try the chain shot here. All right. Shoot. Maybe you can do this. Nope. All right. Gonna try again. No, no, no. Stop the boarding action. Just uh, chain shot them. No, grape shot them. That is chain shot is for the sails. I bet. If I have to destroy the sails on this wing, I absolutely fucking will. Alright. Stop. Stop. I want that troop transport. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it. Yeah, unfortunately, that that did take too bloody long, and I should have just handled it a bit differently, shouldn't I? Just blown it up if need be. Annoying to lose a mission. I'll just redo it. That's not the problem. The problem is... Um yeah, I didn't realize I was reaching the edge of the 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 territory and they were going to escape, so... Okay. I'll try and do better this time. Are all the ships fine? Yet yeah, they are. Let's go do it. Alright, so they do have the Senora and they have the Gamo, and then we have the two troop uh, transports, the ta Santiago and the San... Uh... What? There you... <laughs> they draw... Whatever, I can. I don't really even see it, really. The... You, d you sometimes do struggle with the text. Yeah, because uh... right, we got an entangled. Right, switching to grape shot. That's gonna sink, sadly. I'm fine with that, though.
All right, one ship sunk, four captured, all well and good. I got some pretty solid ships there. And importantly, I got the troop transport, which will allow me to get more uh, ground troops. All right, repair. Repair. Not too bad. I lost quite a few crew, though. That is a bit uh, frustrating, but it's... Well, you you do pay the price for these kind of tactics at the end of the day. Well, the good news is I can afford uh, the ship. I can afford the HMS Saint. But I'm probably not going to buy it right now. I do have a ground battle to fight at the end of the day. Or a mixed arms uh, affair in Santa Cruz.
Okay, uh, and uh, 150 of these boys as well. Very good. I may want to actually take some of them, uh, some of the rifles from. Uh, yeah, and I might want to give these guys 150, give or take. Yeah. Have the money for it, so it's no problem. Have trophies, needs crew, needs crew, needs crew. Okay. Uh, this one's gonna need some crew because I'm going to take it with me in battle. I could take the other one. Actually, I might want to actually just take one of the trophies. Um, the one that's in better condition, right? So let's uh, appoint an officer. Don't really have any great ones left, do I? No, I'll just take. Hmm, uh... he's. As I said, they're not. There's not none of them that are good. That's kind of the problem here, isn't it? Right. I mean, they're decent. Just yeah. Gonna give these guys. Well, the sea service one is going to be fine. Three thousand for that. Acceptable. All right, so the Aquila, the HMS Aquila. It's been impressed into service, good, good sirs. All right, so here's how it's going to go down. My free ships here. Maybe I should get the fourth one, actually. Stuff it full of Marines. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need, I don't know, seven, eight units, right? I certainly could deploy that many units on land, but... Uh, you know, just stuff them in a ship, land, sit ship, I'll do all that. But no, I'm not going to do that. I I'm actually thinking that the six units here should be enough to win the day on ground on their own, let alone the fact that... Actually, no, shouldn't forget. Um, to switch from that... Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the land pattern, even if it means I can't reinforce them. All right. Good. All right. That will be it. I'll probably do this at the end of each video where I go over the upgrades, the things that I'm looking for, and all that kind of stuff, uh, instead of doing it at the beginning of each video. So, yeah. Costine signing off. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.